All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. And today, we're gonna finally be doing a vlog, a little personal life vlog, letting y'all know what's been going on with the old Andy Sand Sam Adishta for the past couple weeks. I've been very busy. Um, busy with uh, part-time work and uh, video editing work as well as school work. I haven't really been having the time to uh, make videos of my own for a while. I've been doing a couple like clickbaity stuff just to experiment and just to put something out there for you all to see. Some personal life updates on me uh, in addition to just working myself to the bone. Um, I, there's been some health problems in my family as of late that's really been weighing on me. And uh, I'm not gonna get into uh, extreme detail for privacy reasons, but uh, we had a little bit of a health scare very close to the family. And uh, it's just one of those things where uh, it makes me wish I was both closer to my family as well as just further away. Also, my uncle passed away last week at 64 due to brain cancer, and my aunt has commissioned me to uh, make a tribute video for him, and uh, just finished up a rough draft of it last night. And I gotta tell you, man, like, when I first heard the news, you know, I'm, I'm the kind of person that, you know, bad news and deaths and stuff like that, it doesn't hit me right away. It's usually just like, oh. And like, I'm not the kind just like fall to my knees and just start like sobbing and that's just not my style. But it usually, it usually takes a couple days, maybe like a week or two. And then it's just like, you know, it just kind of all hits me at once. But uh, making that video and uh, the song selections that my aunt chose were uh, really giving me the feels, to be honest with you. And uh, it was really rough finishing that video up. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's probably one of the one of the hardest I've had to do uh, video editing wise. I hope uh, hope she enjoys it. Um, I hope the rest of the family enjoys it as well. Uh, apparently, she wants to play it at his funeral, just as like a little montagey thing in the background. I guess I'm not really gonna get a chance to uh, get out there to be at his funeral because once again I have to work. Uh, working both the part-time job as well as doing video editing gigs and then still trying to trying to do well in school. I'm doing a lot better than I was last time but you know it's just I always feel like I can do more and that I have time to do more. But It's like time is just going by so fast like right now it's almost 5 30 in the afternoon and I was sitting here recording this whole vlog and it just feels like, you know, time is just passing by so fast. Be sure to stay in contact with your relatives because you don't know when the next time will be the last time. You know, I remember the last time I actually saw my uncle was at a, uh, a family gathering. Gosh, it had to be last year actually when uh, my brother graduated from high school and there was, we threw like a big party over at my aunt's place and uh, you know, he was just getting out of uh, chemotherapy. He was doing really good. Things were looking good. You know, you could tell he's he's been through some shit, but uh, he was still hanging in there, doing strong, uh, staying away from sugar, because that's apparently like rocket fuel for cancer. I didn't know that. Then uh, earlier this year, I guess, the cancer, which was originally in his lungs, uh, spread to his brain, and uh, that's what eventually got him in the end. You know, that incident coupled with some of the health scares that have been going on, my family, aside from that, have just been really fucking with my head, to be honest with you. Um, it's just making me wonder, like, you know, should I move back to Ohio to be closer with my folks? Or should I pursue my dream of going back to Japan more aggressively because it's just one of those things that's really got me thinking, you know, should I pursue my dreams more aggressively and go out back out to Japan as soon as I can? Or should I just transfer to a school that's a bit closer to home so I can be with my family a bit more than I can now? Because being out here in Michigan, I'm so far away from my folks. 
I didn't think I was gonna be, I didn't think the distance would be that great. I figured, you know, it's a little bit far, but maybe I can make it down like once a month or maybe twice a month or something like that, see him on the weekends, get dinner, whatever. But, you know, having to pay the bills and stuff like that out here and trying to catch up has just been really wearing me down. But on the other hand, it's also making me see that maybe Maybe I should pursue my dreams a bit more aggressively because it's making me think, you know, just like, the fuck am I doing here? Like, what the fuck am I doing here? You know, th it just feels like such a step down from being in Japan, you know, just going from every weekend, going out and seeing someplace new, recording someplace new. And it's not just about me, but also showing my friends and my family what life is like out in Japan. You know, my mom would always light up whenever I'd share something on Instagram or share a video and she'd be like, oh, that's a really cool place, Andy. And the rest of my family would too. You know, some of my cousins would be like, wow, I didn't even know that was in Japan. It just, I don't know, I'm torn. I'm really torn because, you know, even when I was in the Navy, I would miss out on births, birthdays, deaths, anniversaries, weddings, all that stuff. I would miss out on, I missed out on a lot in my five years being in the service. And now that I'm out, you know, I wanted to be there more for my folks and be there more for my friends. But I haven't been there for anybody, not even myself. But, you know, the point being is that the whole thing has just got me torn on whether I want to transfer over to a university in Japan to continue out my education and uh, get a job before I graduate and then transfer from a student visa to a working visa or just transfer to a place that's a bit closer to home and uh, finish out my degree then get a job and go back to Japan because either way I want to go back to Japan I miss it too damn much to do anything otherwise that's about it <laughs> I didn't really have any uh, any good way to end the vlog so if you're still around I want to thank you guys for for sticking around this long in the vlog and uh that said, this is the Andy Son. Time for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.